guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we have a fun adventure planned. Our plan is to go backpack to Cane Lake. So Cane Lake is about, I believe, 8.5 miles round trip and about 1,800 feet vert, give or take. Uh, it's supposed to be a great day. However, there are some clouds lurking, so it may or may not rain. We're not, we're not exactly sure, but it's, it doesn't matter. It's going to be wonderful. We have the, we have the right gear anyway. All right, guys. So let's get going. Getting close to the lake. So we're at 9,000 feet. Yeah, the mountains. Yeah, the mountains are gorgeous today. It's nice and cool. This whole canyon is just, just incredible. There, there's waterfalls coming in off the top into the lake. It's going to be easy to sleep tonight with the, the white noise from the waterfall. Yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah. 
Ah, it's amazing. Very glad we came here. Are you happy to be out camping? Oh yeah. It's been a while since we actually went backpacking, so. Yeah, and uh, the vert wasn't too terrible, but man, I, I brought everything in the world in my backpack. I always do that, so. It's all right. We'll be comfortable. Heck yeah. All right, here we go. Oh my freaking goodness. I cannot believe this. This is insane. Oh my God. Like holy freaking crap. Three waterfalls right there. Holy cow, this water is so clear. I almost just kept walking into it. Wow. This is an awesome lake. to Cane Lake and uh, we found a really awesome spot and look at this view I mean the water is like crystal yeah. clear and we've got this crazy waterfall right behind us so there's waterfall three there's waterfalls three, four but I can't I lost count yeah just... so there's three waterfalls right behind us and then one right over there that's huge that we'll have to show you guys later so this is just a great day the hike was, I mean, it was what, like 1,700 feet vert, so it was a little strenuous, I'm not gonna lie. I think it was about four miles to this side of the lake because uh, by the time you walk walk over here, it's a little bit longer. Oh my God, there's but... even two waterfalls right there that we can see, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> through, to... the, through the magic of technology, we'll cut to this phone and we'll show you right there, that view. Yeah, just a couple more waterfalls. Honestly, the bugs are not as bad as we thought they were going Unless to you're be. droning. As soon as both your hands are running the drone, the bugs come out of the trees. We're just going to go ahead and just enjoy the evening for a little bit. And we will check in with you guys as the sun sets. Because, of course, we anticipate the sunset to be pretty spectacular. Also, the sunrise, which we'll show you guys.
white veins in the rock around here. Even all the way up on the mountain. So I'm gonna go climb up this thing. decided to go hike to the saddle of this waterfall right here. I don't know, you probably can't see him, but he, so he climbed like along here and he is literally like right there. <laughs> Let me try to zoom in, see if you can see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see like movement right there. There he is right there, A little dot. And it's steep. So yeah, he's just going up there to do a little bit of droning and to check that area out. So we'll definitely show you guys once he gets up there. All right, I'm about halfway up. Very tired. That's cool with the uh, waterfall coming out from underneath the snow there. Very cool. Almost to the top. So this is what I came up. Not a trail anywhere. Just have to kind of scramble. Wow, even more waterfalls. That is so cool. Awesome. So that mountain right there is the Devil's Bedstead, which is a really cool name for a mountain. And then uh, this is what the top of the waterfall looks like. Yep, another waterfall. Some uh, very cool little pools of water. And it just kind of goes over the edge there. So I'm gonna head over here and take a look. This might actually be a cool area to camp. If you didn't mind that last little rock scramble to get up here.
Wow, that was fun. I just got done flying the, the drone, uh, but I'm gonna have to review that footage because holy crap, I think I just about plowed the thing into the side of a rock wall just now. That was weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the footage, but I was trying to fly up through a gap and man, it just would not gain altitude. I'm like, throttle up, throttle up. And I'm, I was trying to reduce the speed going forward, but take a look over here, show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, I was trying to fly up through this crack, go up this way, and uh, yeah. I think I almost smashed that thing. First time, first time taking it out. That would be great. Well, I think I'm gonna head back down to uh, camp. I'm just gonna take one last look over here at the start of the waterfall. Man, this whole area is just gorgeous. So I had to come down this. This is also the way I went up. I didn't realize how uh, cliffy it was on the way up. It's like right now, I have to go back down this way and I'm sliding on my, uh, my butt trying to do it, but <sighs> pretty, pretty steep. I don't know. Anyway, just work my way down. What did I miss? All right. Nice. Yeah, sometimes the smoke will keep them away, so hopefully that'll work. Nice. No s'mores though. I know, we forgot the s'mores. <coughs> Sunset is happening. Colors are changing. <laughs> Getting us some more firewood. morning and I already walked down to the lake and took some photos of the mirror effect it wasn't as good as I anticipated 
Seems like this place just a little bit more windy, so. And of course, Clint got a fire going for us and he is removing our food. Did you sleep off a little like I did? Yes. <laughs> it was a rough night for both of us, so. Yeah, I probably slept for three hours or something, and a lot of times I'll sleep fine. My backpack, but. Yeah. Not this time. Yeah. Of course, we'll be home in our comfortable beds tonight, so. Ah, Clint has made us some coffee. Yes, never forget this. Hey man, I got your stuff right here. <clears throat> I did bring some uh, creamer and coffee, but some of them blew up. I don't know if it's because we're at, we're at 9,300 feet, so maybe that blew up, but it's nice hot coffee. Just gotta cool it off a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> like we're packing up so we can go home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the other weird thing is the, the hike up to the lakes always goes by fast, but then the hike down drags. Like, are you there yet? All right, well, we had a great time up at the lake. Uh, it's the next morning and uh, it was kind of interesting because in the morning the waterfalls really slowed down because there was, uh, it was wasn't as warm and wasn't melting the snow as much so we got up this morning and these waterfalls were just kind of a trickle but now they're starting to uh, flow again after the sun's out. So it was really fun it was beautiful I'm glad that we actually came up here this weekend because I think if we would have waited any longer the waterfalls would have been almost gone yeah, mid to late July is probably when you want to come. Early July, it's probably a lot of snow still. When I was walking through the, the trees here by the lake, there was still quite a few patches of snow here and there. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for tagging along and watching our channel. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. All right, we are heading out, but we are leaving you this perfect camping spot right here just ready for you. Great view. Yeah. You could have a big group here and then the lake is just over there. Yards from the main lake. That's kind of neat. Yeah, that's very cool. It's really scenic. <laughs> 